Hey! This is Dr. Shivani Jain from Vidya Prakash on Mandir Private Limited. History of Computers The computers that we use today are very different from the early devices that were invented. Right from Abacus, many devices were invented which led to the development of modern day computers. Abacus is the first calculating device invented in China. It was used for performing simple calculation like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Sir John Napier invented a calculating device called Napier's Bones. It was used for performing simple calculation like addition, subtraction, multiplication division and another calculations like finding the square root of a number. Blaise Pascal built the first mechanical computer, Pascalin. It was used for performing simple calculation like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of number up to hundreds and thousands. The famous German mathematician, Leibniz, improvised the Pascal's machine. The calculating machine step reckoner was used for addition, subtraction, multiplication division and finding square roots. To prepare mathematical tables, Charles Babbage, a British mathematician, invented difference engine. Charles Babbage is considered as the father of computers. Charles Babbage also invented the first general purpose computer, an analytical engine. It had the same basic elements as we have in today's computer, input, output, store, mill, and control. Store was used for storing data, mill was the calculating unit and control was used for supervising all the unit. Early inventors Augusta Lovelace Dr. Herman Hillary George Buell John von Neumann Generations of Computers First Generation Computers 1940 They used vacuum tubes Input was given by punched cards and paper tapes. Slow in speed. Required lot of power. Very large in size. Very expensive. Some first generation computers are. Mark I. ENIAC. EDVOTS. EDSAC. UNIVAC I. Second generation computers 1956. They used transistors. They used punched cards and magic tapes. For input they were smaller faster and cheaper. IBM 1401 and RCA 501 are examples of the second generation computers. Third generation computers 1964. They used integrated circuits. They used keyboard for input and monitor for output. They were smaller faster and cheaper. Increased storage capacity. Available to general public. IBM 360 and 370 series are examples. Fourth generation computers 1971. They used microprocessors. Keyboard mouse scanner and so on for input. Monitor printer speakers and so on for output. Tire have high storage capacity could process millions of instructions in a second. IBM PC Apple Macintosh are the examples. 5th generation computers 2010. This generation are referred to as supercomputers. This technology is called artificial intelligence. The computers of 5th generation can think and act like humans. It has ability to touch screen voice recognition. Crow CS300 series is an example of supercomputer. Types of computers With respect to size, speed, cost and storage capacity, computers are classified into following types. Microcomputers This type of computers are small in size and costs less. They are also called personal computers. Microcomputers are of the following types. Desktop computers are designed to fit on the top of a desk. Laptop computers can be placed on lap. Tablet computers are smaller and lighter than laptops. Many computers are general purpose computers. That can be used by a large number of people at the same time. They are used in banks, universities and other big organizations. 
mainframe computers are big in size and have a large memory and high speed. They are capable of supporting hundreds or even thousands of users simultaneously. They are used in large business organization. Supercomputers are the most powerful and fastest computers. These computers are expensive and are employed for specialized applications that require immense amount of mathematical calculations. These computers have huge processing speed.